All right, y'all. Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We're back with another game-related episode. And what you're seeing on screen here is the video game swap meet held in, held in Portland, Oregon. This happened, uh, I believe, March 5th, 6th of 2022, earlier in the year. This is event. This is an event that I have attended uh, years before, but now that I'm in Japan, I wasn't able to make it out. But a good friend of mine went out there, and he supplied me with this footage. So let's go ahead and get underway. And we're going to start with these... Uh, I believe these are like homebrew games for the Genesis, Super Nintendo, and a few uh, English translated games for the NES, like that chibi uh, Splatterhouse game. And then here we have a few Wii U, uh, Smash Bros, GameCube uh, controllers, and they seem to be going for 30, 35 bucks, as you can see. I think I like that Luigi one the best, personally. And uh, I'm not sure, they look like they might be new in box. Then we have some N64 stuff, just a whole bunch of knickknacks here. And then we have uh, our controllers. Look at all that SpongeBob stuff. I believe those actually are like these TV games that have like these simple games. And then we have some guides. I still have uh, a number of guides, uh, mainly for the Sega Dreamcast. Like I think I have Grandia 2, Shinmu. And it's kind of crazy to see that some, you know, 10 bucks for the GTA 3 and 20 for Kingdom Hearts. So I believe, uh, I believe there's a market for, for reselling this stuff. And then we have uh, DuckTales, The Sun Chaser. I would totally get that, but 20 bucks. I'm not sure if that's a good deal. And then here we have some hard off junk vibes. These controllers seem to be going for about 15 bucks. In Japan, they go for about 300 yen, sometimes 100 yen, but you save yourself the plane ticket, so 15 bucks isn't too bad of a deal for those. And definitely, just keep in mind, if you do get a controller, a Super Famicom one, those uh, the cable length is far, far shorter than the North American uh, counterpart. But then we have uh, some DS games. Freaking love the DS. Uh, Contra 4 for 60 bucks. I would totally get that one. And I believe I've seen the Japanese equivalent, and it, it seems to be going at a similar uh, going rate. And then Chibi Robo. I had no idea. I, I believe that's. I always felt that that started life on the GameCube and the and the 3DS. Didn't know about the the DS uh, entry. And then we have NBA Jam for 15 bucks. I definitely want to get a copy of that, but preferably for the Sega Saturn. That's right. And then we have Timon and Pumbaa for five uh, or six bucks, five bucks there. I believe that got a, um, that's a part of the, uh, the Disney collection that's uh, available on the PS4, the Switch, Steam, maybe uh, Xbox One. We have Super Metroid there in the repo case. And then we have this something in Crazy Chase. I believe that's like an isometric type of game going for 15 and then 40 for The Legend of Zelda. We have this track and field business for the Game Boy Advance, Darius Twin for 20 And Super Return of the Jedi for 20 bucks. I believe there's a collection on the Switch that's going for $9.99. And Zombies Ain't My Neighbors for 40 That's not too bad, I guess. And here's a few PS1 games. Uh, the Street Fighter Collection for $65. Uh, I kind of want that. Even though I have so many copies of... Uh, of Street Fighter 2 across many uh, platforms. I guess you could never have too many, right? And then we have some N64 games here. I uh, currently don't own an N64, but we have Bomberman Hero for 25 And uh, The World is Not Enough for 20 The other the other 007 GoldenEye is the one that you really want, which I believe is here for 35 bucks. That's not too bad. That was a great game back in the day. But I think this one uh, takes the cake for me. Resident Evil 2 for 45 totally worth it especially you know with those ex files if you want to uh, nerd out on the lore killer instinct there how much is that bad boy 20 bucks uh that's not too bad i guess and then we have some more ds games mario kart for 20 bucks here in japan i believe uh, uh, it goes for like about like four or five bucks um what else do we have here anything Anything of interest? Uh, that Tomb Raider Underworld, I wonder how that is. I had no idea that that got a DS release. And sometimes that's the fun part, right? You know, you're just browsing around and then you, you come across some games like this Front Mission for 50 bucks. I had no idea that that also got a DS release. But that Dragon Ball Origins for 55 that we just saw, that is a game that I've been wanting to play for years. I believe it also has a sequel on the DS. And then we have, look at this. We have a Japanese release. Not sure what this is all about, but it's going for 80 bucks. That's a little bit steep. It's got to be good. And then here's Front Mission. Strategy RPG type of game. And then we have Dragon Ball Origins there, which I spoke about. And then GameCube games. Let's see what they got here. We got NHL, 
Uh, looks like a just. Oh, here we go. Mary Kate, sweet sixteen. Mary and Ashley, Kate, whatever, sweet sixteen. Uh, Tales of the Abyss for sixty-five bucks. Whoa. What else here? What else? You know, if I if I was here, I would totally get this Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I don't have a copy of that, and twenty bucks. That seems pretty reasonable to me, guys. And Shantae, the Pirate's Curse, 120 bucks. Here's a few more expensive titles. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, 125. Dragglade for 100. Moon, now this is one I want to play. That's like a first person type of shooter on the DS. Then we have Diablo for 100. I definitely prefer the Japanese cover art. And then Herc's Adventure for 200. I remember I picked this up at a Goodwill for like five bucks. Of course, I sold it. Uh, this seems to be like a Avalon code. I haven't heard of this one. Knights in the Nightmare. I believe this is an Atlas game. I uh, could be wrong, but I think. And then some Nintendo games. Wampum. 50, 55 bucks next to Sunset Riders for a hundred, a hundred bucks for Sunset Riders. That's a, currently a part of like the the Hamster Arcade archive. Now look at this. Three hundred bucks for for this. Get out of here with this. They, they they could at least clean the cart. Come on, man. And then we have Turtles in Time. Uh, that's, I guess, not too bad. There's a bunch of... 200 for Superstar Soccer 99. Mr. Do for 50 and Revelations Persona for 160. Killer Attack of the Killer Tomatoes for 25. Definitely want to play that. I have no idea what it is. Look at this Vice Project Doom. Oh, here's one. Gargoyle 2. And a whole bunch of other NES games. I don't really collect for the NES, but... I freaking love the cover art and for the Famicom games I love like all the the different colors on those cards Willow for 20 that's uh I believe I played the arcade game to Willow and I believe that's a Capcom game they should totally release that for uh, the, the the stadium that they keep uh, um, re-releasing games for Gyrus uh, I've, I think I've heard of that before the shmup I believe what else here Thunder Thunder and Lightning. I wonder what that's about. And we have another Vice game. A little beat up there. All sorts of cool little titles here. Double Dragon 2 for 15. And what what is this? Uh, I couldn't get it. Karnov. Okay, yeah. And then we have what? Mega Man 3. I wonder how much that one was going for. Ninja Gaiden 2 for 15. And next to Ninja Gaiden, you know, those are definitely... Uh, Big titles for the for the Super Nintendo or the Nintendo. Just all sorts of stuff here. Then we have a stall here for the Sega Saturn. That's a, a little bit rough. Missing the manual. What's it coming in at? Come on, ninety bucks. Nah, that uh, that can just stay there in the bin. A little bit too. That's a, that's far too steep. Um, or is it? I don't know. That I, I used to I used to rent that game way back in the day. I actually owned a copy. But I paid like 30 bucks uh, complete with the manual. And then we have Light Crusader for 60. I played that game before. I think I have it actually. What else do we have here? Uh, Carmen San Diego. I remember playing that on the old Apple II computer. Decap Attack. And then Wolf Child. That's one that I've been interested in for a while. Oh, they also had Zombies Ate My Neighbors there. And then we have Contra Hardcore for 50. Rolling Thunder for, uh, 3 for 50 bucks. Freaking love the Rolling Thunder games. Beyond Oasis for 55. Legend of Oasis is on the Sega Saturn. That one seems to be on the rise too. And then Maximum Carnage. I believe this is a fighting game for 20 bucks there. I, you know what? I'm kind of tempted to get a 32X. Uh, Thunder Force uh, 2. Mutant League Football. Heard a lot of great things about that one. And Turricane. I'm still waiting for my collection from Strictly Limited Games. It's been like two years. Then we have Ranger X. I have a copy of this. Great game, that one. Another copy of Contra Hardcore. And then look at this. That uh, Mario Paint for 1500 there. It's going for 150 bucks. And look at that. $300. Wow. I'm just so, I guess I'm just so spoiled, you know, being out here in Japan and, uh, you know, already having a lot of these uh, consoles, the North American counterparts back home. A thousand bucks for that Target exclusive uh, uh, SNES Junior. That is loco, man. A thousand bucks, wow. 180 for Battletoads. 
You know, it's still kind of cool to see all this stuff. A Chippendale 2 Rescue Rangers 2 for 1200 bucks. My goodness. I missed out. I should have been here. I went in uh I went to the states in uh December and January and uh usually this event was held in, in January but they switched it back to March. So that was a major bummer for me. A few handhelds here. A hundred bucks there for the Game Boy Advance, uh, for the D a hundred for the DS. Wow. A hundred and sixty for that Hello Kitty. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not something I'd get, but still kind of cool to look at. 225 for a Vita. And we have these Amiibos here. What else? Any, any, anything? Oh, Bayonetta. That's one that I would like. Got another copy of Front Mission for 75. I guess we know where to go if we want a deal. Um, and nothing, nothing that really catches my attention. What do we have here? This Game Saver, 40 bucks. Now these things have been around for quite a bit, uh, for quite some time. I remember back when, uh, back in the early 90s, a friend had, had some kind of atta attachment that would, uh, rip the copies to a floppy game as well as, uh, I don't know if it had instant saves or something like that. I barely remember, but that, it was kind of cool seeing something like that way back when, uh, when I was a kid. And then we have some Super Nintendo games. What are you going to show us? Come on, G. Let's see. Some Sega games or consoles. We got a Dreamcast, Sega CD, another Dreamcast. And then look at this. This is a more uh, junk section uh, vibes. It's almost like the same um, type of merchandising. And it looks like they're the Super Famicom games are going for about six bucks a piece. Typically in the junk section here, they go for 50 yen up to... Uh, up to like what 300 yen sometimes a little bit more but again these games are here you don't have to waste your time coming out to japan so six bucks is definitely a deal for some of them for some of them it's it's straight junk 10 bucks for street fighter 2 what do we got all sorts of stuff here tiny tunes for 10 Tiny Toons was a great game. I, I like that. And then we have Mario Paint. All sorts of stuff here. But, you know, honestly, if I was coming to the, the swap meet, I wouldn't... Uh, me, personally, I probably wouldn't be digging through here because, you know, uh, living in Japan. <laughs> but it's still kind of an interesting thing to see. Yu Yu Hakushu. Oh, that cart has seen better days. Look at that. Both of those carts. Mangy. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2 for 13 bucks. Something about what? It has some like little sticker there. I'm not really sure what that says. Uh, Shinchan. Kind of an interesting little anime cartoon character. F Zero. Super Air Driver 2. Super Dante. Just all sorts of stuff. I wonder how they came across these games. I, I believe sometimes they just buy them in bulk off of eBay. But you do get a lot of junk in here, man. Romancing Saga. I mean, there's a lot of great RPGs in here, but if you don't speak Japanese, I mean, I guess uh, just uh, as a display thing, right? Sim City, Fire Emblem there. I don't know. I don't think Fire, Fire Emblem ever got a release for the Super Nintendo. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. And some more Mario Paint copies. Hat Trick Hero, that, that's also on uh, the Sega Saturn and the arcade Taito game. What else here? What is this? Heiwa. Oh, uh, Albert Odyssey. Nice one. Sunsoft. Ooh, Clay Fighters for 1500 Super Bowling for 850 Stunt Racer for 550 500 What do we got? Come on, show me something good here. Something nice and expensive. Or is that uh, Clay Fighter the most expensive? That's probably going to be the most expensive thing. Oh, James Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing for 500 I believe that's the the rarest uh, Mega Drive game. Then Vampire, what is it? Monster of Darkness, 230 300 Sonic Blast for the Game Gear. Wow, that got a Game Gear release. The Game Gear actually had quite a bit of uh, Sonic games. Look, Sonic Spinball for 300 bucks. Spider-Man X-Men 750 
350 for Battletoads on the Game Gear. Wow, that's that's definitely new to me. I had no idea that that got a release. And then we have uh, The Land of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse 150. Those those are typically pretty good. And then we have Beavis and Butthead. Freaking love the, the Super Nintendo version of that. Pretty fun. Uh, what else do we have here? Biker Mice from, from Mars, 90 bucks. I remember that cartoon. Realm for 90. Haven't played that one by Titus, huh? Separation Anxiety, uh, Spider-Man and Venom for 45. That's a cre that's a pretty cool game. Klonoa for 100, 100 bucks. Just wait for the collection. Coming out for Switch, PS5, and PS4. Uh, what do we have? Uh, Raiden for 60 on the Xbox 360. Rally Racer. And Shantae for 70 bucks on the Wii U. Uh, Metroid Prime 40. Uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy, 150 on the on the Wii. I would definitely like to play that. Um, I haven't beaten part two nor part three. And we have Radical Rex for 150 bucks. Ooh, look at all those 007 Golden Eyes. And then Rescue Rangers Chip and Dale. 200 bucks for that uh, Sega Sports. Uh, my goodness. Whoa, big box. For Biker Mice from Mars, 450 Why does that come into such a huge box? Now, here's the deal. Here is the deal. $599 for Sega Rally Revo on the PSP. I'd probably get that Virtua Fighter Online Edition for the 360. Just for the collection. I already have it, but, you know, being a collector and whatnot. And we got, uh, what is this? DVDs. Mixed in with 360 sports titles. Right on, we got some uh, some goodies here, some figurines, action figures, some toys. Let's be real. Um, what do we have? I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably get one of these. If the price was right. I know not to, oh, 160 for the Japanese PS2 there. That's not too bad i suppose 70 bucks for a super famicom if you look through the junk section you could usually find one for like about 10 bucks 15 bucks with all the components the ps1 60 bucks i brought mine from the states freaking love that little ps1 the sega saturn for 110 this seems to have like a blue led modification 100 bucks and this is the best saturn right here the model one 160 bucks I brought mine uh, that I've had for years, which I found at a Goodwill for 40 bucks. What else do we have? What is this Mega Jet business? Some kind of attachment for the Mega Drive. And the 32X, I'm telling you, that thing uh, been popping up in my life every, every so often, tempting me. Uh, what, do we, what do we have here? The XI, the JVC XI. Can't really tell the price there, but these these are not cheap, guys. But that's just the state of retro, you know. Everybody wants in. There's so many like Orange Spice Game Cubes. Two hundred bucks seems to be the average uh, going rate for that. I wonder how he came across all these uh, all these units of Orange Spice. And look at this, the Sega CD Model One. Now that's uh, oh, but that well, that that Genesis could be not a very good variant. Didn't see the high definition graphics on it. We got some Wada games here. What do you have? Chrono Trigger, Tiny Toons, Totally Rad. Ooh, I wonder how much those things go for. But that's probably one of those things. If you gotta ask, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Twelve hundred for that Turok Rage Wars. 450 for snowboard kids my goodness but you know what a lot of interesting stuff here and i probably would have spent some good money all right y'all that's going to be it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it definitely more to come more in the hunt and as always thank you for checking out retro rewire my name is jj and i hope to see you soon ciao